CHI St. Luke's Health, the Woodlands Hospital, is probably one of the best locations in Montgomery County because we really have an excellent team of doctors who take care of spine patients. We tend to use a team-centric approach with excellent ancillary staff for physical therapy and preoperative care. We have a wonderful operative staff. We have excellent physicians outside of the spine care team who can help out with taking care of the patients after surgery. And also, again, the physical therapy and occupational therapy are all very good and very practiced at getting our spine patients up and around and moving so they can get home quickly and get right back to their lives and doing the things they want to do. The function of the spine is first to support our body. It's the framework that supports our body running from our head down to our pelvis. It also supports the spinal cord, which is like the uh, signal track for sending signals from our brain to the rest of our body to run our motors and also to let sensation come back from our body to our brain, let us let our brain know what's going on. Different sections of the spine are divided into different sections as you run down the spine. There's the neck, which is called the cervical spine, kind of your upper back, which is your thoracic spine, and then your lower back, your lumbar spine, which connects into your sacrum in your pelvis. Some of the common injuries that can occur to the spine usually involve the discs or the facet joints. Common causes of back pain include degenerative disc disease, arthritis, ruptured or herniated discs, instability in the spine. Some of the more uncommon causes of back pain would include scoliosis, pregnancy, kidney stones, certain infections, certain tumors, particularly of the spine, that can result in back pain. There are some common risk factors for developing spinal problems. A big one's genetic. A lot of it's related to your genetics and your family history of spine issues. Probably about 50% of spine problems and developed are related to genetic issues. It's also related to wear and tear on your back and aging. If you do have a job where you're working, doing a lot of heavy lifting or other strenuous activities, that can lead to increased wear and tear on the spine and put you at increased risk of having a spinal injury like a herniated disc. Smoking can cause increased degeneration of the uh, discs, which are the little cushions in between your bones. It's thought to decrease blood supply to the discs and cause degeneration of those discs faster than it would normally. Obesity can also lead to increased problems with your spine. Some of the specific spinal conditions that we treat are degenerative disc disease, herniated discs, arthritis, spinal stenosis, scoliosis, spine tumors, spinal infections, and spine trauma. So usually we do try to leave surgery as a last option, so we usually do use a lot, the full range of alternative treatments when we see patients. And those include medications like non anti-inflammatories, muscle relaxants, pain medications as needed, although we try to avoid those that tend to not be overly effective. Visit us at imaginebetterhealth.org to learn more about our breakthroughs in neuroscience.